Hi, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to set up a constraint actor. So you can see I've got the lantern attached to a cable actor and it's constrained to the ceiling. Now, I also in another tutorial, will show how to set the physics thruster so that if you hit a key on the keyboard, the thruster moves it around in a different way. Um, you could also have other physics objects, um, even constrained actors, so that they're affected by the physics handle so you could potentially grab it. So I have the physics handle set up. I'll, I'll mention on how to set that up in another tutorial. All right, awesome. Let's jump in and get started. So I have a duplicate set up right here. Uh, one of the critical things as always for physics objects, you have to make sure that simulate physics is turned on. So for the physics constraint, just type physics constraint. And then also for the cable, type cable actor and the cable actor is really cool it's a nice particle driven simulation as far as I understand it and the, you can set it up so that it can attach to objects so I'm going to choose what actor I want to attach it to and I've attached it to the lamp you can see it looks a little off at offset by default the end location is offset by 100 units so if you just type zero it should center it pretty well and I'm gonna just pull that into the ceiling. Now in the other one, there's the cable length, so I could shorten that or lengthen it if needed. I could also change the radius, so the width, to make it a little bit more realistic. Now for setting up the constraint actor, and even the cable actor, you wanna make sure that if you want this to look right, you wanna make sure that they're kind of all centered. So then I similarly, use the, when I've selected the physics constraint, you specify with the eyedropper tool here what actors you're gonna constrain. So I'm gonna constrain it to this pillar and I'm also gonna constrain it to the lantern. So now we've got that all set up. You could apply, I, in the other one I applied a gold material to the, um, and we could probably do just nudge that around a little bit. Let's hit play and see how that's looking. And I'm going to hit the five key to grab it and then release it. Nice. That is working just right. Wonderful. Now you can tweak, as you can see, the uh, cable components. You can tweak it so that it's a little bit better inside. But pretty much that's it for setting up a constraint actor. I'll give you a quick preview for what I'm going to do in one of my next videos. I'll show how to set up a constraint actor where it's constrained to kind of a pivot and then a motor pushes it back and forth. So you could create this kind of swinging door. All right. Um, and I'll show how to make these like gears. Those are physics driven gears in another tutorial. So that's up and coming. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.